Okay, welcome back to another episode on the Crystal Craft server. As always, I'm MC Mining K Man, and uh, it's been quite a while since I've been on once again. Unfortunately, work has got in the way again. And uh, by uh, work, I mean work. I put in 68 hours of work last week. It was. Uh, ridiculous honestly uh, I was at a construction site and uh, they kept saying oh this should be your last night you have to work out here and they ended up calling me out several more times I was doing 12 hours on 12 hours off uh, working 6 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. and uh, yeah that uh, that was quite a wear and a tear on my body and it wasn't exactly the warmest nights either so it was a little bit of wear and tear on the car having to idle my own car uh, in a uh, to keep warm running the heater and stuff for a little while uh, so that's really delayed me from being able to get anything accomplished uh, I did use this a little bit uh, let's see what was it uh, Sunday morning I was on was it? yeah Sunday morning I was on let's see that would have been three days ago uh, on for a little bit maybe an hour and a half ish and pretty much did a bunch of book enchanting a bunch of low level enchanting guide efficiency books couple thorn books someone breaking books uh, ended up having to get some sharpness. Uh, no silk touch, but I got uh, several lo looting two books. So nothing too too spectacular, but I did get a lot of these XP bottles uh, moved out. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I keep re I had to rename up. Oh, that's why I misspelled it renamed a couple of my homes again but uh, yeah I was out here uh, filling this up again uh, Jester had uh, been using it a little bit but uh, apparently he's uh, done with the server uh, one of his uh, his primary home got raided and so he's uh, he's done with it all I guess and he's uh, quitting he said and he also put a posted a goodbye message on the forums and uh, I know a lot of you guys were really hard on him and stuff but he was actually a fairly good player uh, I enjoyed him around being around um, oh yeah I want to get into I've been messing around with uh, some mods uh, some forge mods and it's all beta a lot of them are still beta not all of them they're beta because the forge is still in a beta for 1.8 but as you can see it's a uh, super dark up here actually let me go over to the uh, stone swords stone shovels Sultan All right, let the world load in because of fraps. All right, so it looks nice and bright around here, but let's go out this way past the torches. It's going to have to be a little bit because we really torched up a lot. All right, here you go. S I, I hope you can see this uh, on as you're watching this. But it gets pretty much pitch black. Bam! It is it is pitch black. Uh, this mod is called Advanced Darkness, and it just adds a uh, a uh, true lighting effect, I guess. Uh, it you just go out there and you are pitch black when you don't have a light source and I was thinking about using it in my videos 
but uh, it's not YouTube friendly uh, because it is going to be so dark and stuff. I need to get a couple of these other things shown. It'll be so dark and stuff that uh, you guys won't be able to see what I'm doing. But I also added a... Oh, there's a skelly, and I've got no armor and no weapon. Running, running, running. Actually, let me go down in here and knock out a couple of these torches, and that should make it nice and dark. There. Oh, there. Pitch black. Pitch black here. Well, I've got a mod on that lets you use torches and glowstone and redstone and redstone lamps to emit light. Now, let me get the uh, name of this pulled up real quick. All right. The name of this one is called Dynamic Lights. And it's uh, whatever you have selected in your hotbar that emits a light signal, uh, light source, and it will do it. But the cool thing about it is you can also toss the light source on the ground, and uh, it'll light up that area. You pick it up, and uh, you'll do it like this. You th you throw it on the ground, and there it goes. So that's kind of a cool little feature as well. And so I was thinking about using that as a way to combat the advanced darkness, but if you get into any sort of battle or anything in a dark spot, then you as a YouTube viewer would end up being screwed uh, in a way uh, of not being able to see what was going on because I would have to switch to my weapon and you wouldn't be able to see would no longer be able to see what I was doing. But I think I'll keep the uh, dynamic lights uh, active uh, when I do use the forge uh, uh, forge mod uh, loader because uh, it is again still very beta and it, it does cause quite a few crashes. In fact I ended up having to take off voxel map because it was causing several crash crash issue issues. Um, I do have a bunch of waypoints saved, but uh, it's it, it was causing some errors, and I just read that uh, they did an update for it, and so I will have to look into that, seeing how that works out. Some of the other um, Forge mods that I've been messing around with is... Uh, extra achievements and this is I th I haven't tested this yet so those those are the regular ones um, all of them are completed but you can switch to this thing called extra achievements and it's just basically building and collecting one of absolutely everything in the game uh, kill chickens, kill, oh, kill all the passive mods, kill all the uh, aggressive mods, and nether mods, snow golem, iron golem, so just one of every mod. Um, as far as I know, let's see, let's scroll around. Yep, that's, that's it. Uh, some fishing, collect one of every fish. So, uh, just a few other things. I think I'll give that a try, see if that actually does anything. I mean, it doesn't do any game changes at all. It's all client-side. But, just add something else to do. And, uh, we've got quite a few people joining tonight. And, uh, actually, uh, Jay Flores, uh, gave me a couple of statistics that he said that I could uh, go ahead and relay in one of my episodes. Uh, let's see. F uh, first thing is, uh, on average, for the past two months, being pretty much December and January, 
uh, we we as a server have had over 100 new players connect to the server daily the record high for it is uh, 223 new players in a single day so that's pretty impressive uh, let's see on December 8th of 2014 the server has broken its all-time high number of players at a total of 83 players on at a single time so that's also a pretty impressive uh, uh, feat for the uh, server let's see 64 percent of our daily players comes from the United States uh, 7.64 percent of players are from Canada 7.57 percent of the players are from the UK 2.68 percent of players are from Australia and apparently all the uh, rest of the statistics are really small like in the uh, only one percent or so and then also uh, final final interesting fun fact is that 89% of our daily players are reoccurring players and only 11% uh, of players on at any given time are new players so those are some pretty uh, I thought were pretty interesting statistics and uh, Jay Flory gave me permission to go ahead and pass that stuff on I'll probably put those up in the screen too if I remember to do that Uh, let's see yeah let me just look around here because oh I need to eat let's see do I still have any food in my inner chest oh yes I've been doing some more nether tr not nether excuse me some uh, uh, travel in the end through the void and stuff so I've got all that uh dirt and some shovels to dig up the dirt as I pill her out but this looks like a uh, automatic farm of some sort oh yeah uh, big builder man uh, wanted to uh, have a safe place to build stuff and I invited him to come out here and so he's been doing some stuff I haven't been on to look at any of it but it's apparently a melon farm and a pumpkin farm all right he's got it on a let's see He's just got it on a hopper timer. There's uh, no daylight sensor or anything. Mm, efficient enough. Let's see, where's his collection? All right, which way? Oh, here. Well, that's pretty impressive, I guess. I have no idea how long it's been running, but uh, yeah. He's going to be building out here too. Uh, again, the uh, stone shovels team is not official, and in fact, most of the guys that were out here have already deleted their homes and moved on to other projects. But there's a, I guess it's just me and Big Builder Man because he even uh, Jester has quit, and I think he was the last, the only other person that was still out here. Um, let's see. I've got a list in front of me of things that I wanted to cover. <laughs> oh yeah, the uh, uh, back at the uh, hole, I finally figured out how to fix the, uh, well again, it worked in my single player, but I figured out how to fix the, uh, the slime launchers, oh, I just need jump the slime launchers on this uh, PvP arena 
and I haven't yet I don't did I do it out here no I did it in my creative world so let me go ahead and collect some supplies uh, to get that done because I'm gonna go ahead and build it all here and uh, see if it if it works yet all right there we go so let's see those those need to come out those need to come out that that uh, let's see that needs to come out because let's see the uh, you have to put something that does not move for Did that need to come out? Here, let me throw in. Let's see. Yes, those need to come out. All right. So what I'm doing is because these are going to be the activators. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. So that needs to be a furnace. And so what I ended up doing was putting a ring around that and then which, which is which one's the middle one? not that not that this step matters but a piston and then put a, re a repeater with a two tick delay and then you put those there and oh yeah that does need that gets ends up getting cut back one because I need to oops, need to go ahead and cap this off here and because the there there we go so it's got a delay and then I need to go ahead and just put another uh, non-movable block there rather than leaving it open so now you have time to get on it but well still have that it, j it must be a bucket thing it, it must be bucket code that doesn't quite have that enabled yet. Anyway, that's uh, how I got it to work in my creative world. Actually, let me hop over there real quick to show you that it does work. All right, so here I am in my creative world. And got uh, I was actually able to get a copy of my uh, PvP arena moved over uh a while ago but uh, there's some sort of glitch with the uh, the uh, mod now huh okay I did that a little bit different anyway there's some glitch with the mod now where it starts to save the chunks that you travel on but uh, once you tell it to uh, stop saving them and start rendering them the the uh, mod freezes and doesn't save anything but <coughs> excuse me. But here you go. You just launch up. It's a, just a two tick delay was all it needed, and uh, because I was having the problems here on uh, the single player also. Let's see. Yep. There we go. So so the timing just uh, glitches once in a while. And there's not anything you can do about it. It's just the way the uh, the uh, memory handles the uh, the uh, number of ticks that it processes. So I was really hoping. Well, I'll go ahead and build this back on a uh, crystal craft. Get uh, the the uh, four launchers uh, built. Get a little bit more progress made. But until Bucket can get uh, 
that uh, slime block feature fully functional, I don't think I'll be uh, spending too much time on the PV PvP arena still. Alright, well, just finished up getting all of them built here on Crystal Craft, and they just do not launch. Don't know what's up with that. Let's uh, hop up here, take a look at our progress. I know I haven't got much of anything accomplished uh, around here, and uh, I'll blame a lot of that on my job. <laughs> oh, also, uh, sadly, my... Uh, Technically, it's my wife's MacBook, but uh, it finally died. It, uh, let's see, six years, six years old or so. Um, I don't remember exactly off the top of my head, but anyway, it had it had a busted screen for the longest time and. Let's see, it already was on its second uh, battery. It uh, it was just not in very good shape. <laughs> and so it, uh, let me go ahead and take that redstone stuff back. So if it finally died, uh, the uh, operating system just no longer would boot the hard drive uh, it had been overheating a lot uh, because well I presumed that the uh, fans in it uh, the cooling fan was probably clogged with uh, a hairball or something and uh, sure enough it, it was because after it died I decided to take the whole thing apart and uh, never I had never seen the inside of a Mac before, so I took it all apart, and uh, sure enough, it had a uh, massive hairball in it, and it components were overheating and expanding and losing connection and stuff. So we just, uh, well, I took it apart, uh, saved the hard drive. I'm going to see if I can maybe hopefully uh, salvage some data off of it uh, we are already cleared all of our uh, personal stuff off of it because I knew the computer was going bad and so I didn't want us to lose the stuff but there was a couple uh, creative worlds that I had on there for uh, uh, that I had done at work and stuff when I had uh, was doing one of those long you know shifts where all by yourself and it's more important to stay awake than you know scaring off deer because nothing else was around so yep that that MacBook is dead so now we're just down to uh, this single uh, gaming computer that I have, which is the way we've mostly used it anyways. Uh, where is my stone builds? There it is. Uh, so hopefully with the the uh, tax return season for those of you who uh, live in the U.S. and actually earn income, that uh, glorious time of the year where you have to file your taxes and uh, either pay more or if you're semi lucky enough to have had enough taxes pulled out through the year you get some of your taxes back. Uh, I plan on hopefully building a uh, new computer and uh, but uh, have some bills to pay off and need a new washer and dryer set and uh, let's see, make another big uh, lump payment on my car to help get it closer to being paid off. And so 
Unfortunately, there's a lot of things in life that uh, take precedent before uh, making a new computer. But hopefully I'll be able to get have something left over to make at least a decent computer. Might not be a gaming computer, but definitely a more decent computer than uh, this desktop. Because it, too, has, is um, six, at least six years old. Let's see. Now that I'm thinking about it, we bought the MacBook in August of 2008. And here it is January of 2015. So, you know, six and a half years or so for the uh, first... Uh, it wasn't first generation. might have been second or third generation MacBooks. And so it was. Uh, it lasted quite well. But I think that'll be it for this episode. Uh, I know, again, not really anything accomplished, uh, but that was because of a huge work week. But I plan on getting quite a bit done after this episode so that we can definitely get something uh, start being... I got this uh, giant uh, spherical build I want to make out in the... Uh, end void but I need to get further out in the end before I do that um, so yep guess that's it uh, please go ahead and uh, do a huge uh, favor for me and click the like button down below and uh, if you haven't yet uh, please subscribe as all, as well as uh, come come on to Crystal Craft uh, MC's server it's uh, all the information is down below in the description and also you can follow me on uh, Twitter as well I'll give some updates out there uh, once in a while too so thanks for all thanks thank you all for watching I'll see you all next time bye <laughs>